This is how I make my structured yet organic base to some of my pick up and go garlands. As you can see, it's extremely sturdy and it will transport well. Start by blowing up your 17 inch balloons into 11 inches. And then you're going to tie those balloons together as close to the base as possible to give us the longest, stretchiest neck. We're gonna need those necks at a later time. Now, grabbing your pairs or your duplet of the same size balloons, we're going to intertwine them, twist them together tightly so they do not come apart. This is key in making sure that you have a strong structure for your base. You don't want them to come unraveled when you're assembling later. And just as a recap, all of your 17 inch balloons are blown to 11 inches. All of your 11 inch balloons are blown to nine inches. Create your pairs and then twist together to create your quads. Now taking one quad of 11 inch balloons and one quad of nine inch balloons, we're gonna tie those together at the neck. This is where the long stretchy neck comes into play. Now grabbing your tied together clusters, you're going to tie them together again. The pattern is 11 inch, nine inch, tied to the 11 inch side and then nine inch. Again, if you're doing a standard pick up and go garland, you're going to need four of these clusters tied together to equal five feet. The benefit to under inflating these balloons is that they can withstand the pressure of being transported from place to place. It also gives us enough material to have a long stretchy neck to assemble them together. And also it helps with temperature changes and it gives the balloons room to expand without causing them to pop. You can follow along for part two, where I will be adding my small details and also my high shine to complete my pick up and go garland. Follow up for more balloon content, tips, and inspiration.